the DigiRig or the MobiLink TNC? Which is the right tool for you? Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So I recently swapped out the MobiLink TNC for the DigiRig in my 2 meter EDC kit for one specific reason. And that reason was I couldn't work Vara with the MobiLink TNC. However, I am working on a new super compact uh, WinLink kit that will utilize the MobiLink TNC. And I'll give you guys a preview of that here in just a bit. But before we get to that, let me talk about some of the pros and cons of each of these devices. And if you're interested in either device, I'll leave links to both down in the description below. So first, let's talk about the MobiLink. Now, the MobiLink is a true TNC device, and it's great for packet work like APRS or Packet WinLink. I actually used the MobiLink TNC to run an APRS Digipeter this past fill day. It's super compact, includes Bluetooth, and the battery can last for hours. When I was running that uh, APRS Digipeter on fill day, I actually ran that for 27 hours and never had to recharge the MobiLink TNC. It can be used with your computer or your Raspberry Pi or even your cell phone. So it is a slick little device. The biggest complaint I had was I couldn't do Vara FM with the MobiLink TNC. It can be a little bit more frustrating to get configured. You got to figure out if your HT likes simplex or multiplex PTT. And the biggest hurdle for the MobiLink as of the time of this recording is you just can't buy it right now. They are completely sold out. Typically they run about $120. But the website is saying that it will be December of 2022 before they expect more stock. Now, let's talk for a second about the DigiRig. The DigiRig is even smaller than the MobiLink TNC. It's roughly half the size of the MobiLink. Uh, it is a sound card, but it also has a serial connection that can be used for programming HT radios and cat control if your radio has cat control abilities. There's no batteries to worry about having to recharge on the DigiRig, and most importantly for my use case, it will allow me to do Vara FM. Now, unfortunately, there is no Bluetooth included with the DigiRig, so you're going to need something, uh, some sort of computer like a laptop or a Raspberry Pi. However, a friend of mine recently threw out an interesting idea. I haven't had a chance to test it, but it might be possible to use a OTG cable with an Android phone and actually make the DigiRig work. Maybe we can test that out in a future video. The biggest complaint I have with the DigiRig is it's bulkier because of the cables. So I really like the, uh, the trimmed down small package of the MobiLink, but if I want to do Vara with my 2 meter everyday carry kit, the DigiRig is the only solution that's going to work. The DigiRig will run you about 60 bucks for the main unit itself, and then you'll have to add whatever cable or cables you need. Those cables typically run somewhere between $15 and $30, and they have them available for a lot of different radios on the market. So everything from the Baofeng all the way up to some of the Yezu radios like the 817 and 818. Dennis, the creator of the DigiRig, is really good at bringing out new cables. He just introduced a new one for the Yezu radios that have the threaded headphone jack. So which one of these devices is better? Well, that depends on your objectives. What do you want to accomplish? You just need to pick the right tool for the job. I've got two separate kits that I am working on, one being my primary EDC kit, and in that one, I'm going to use the DigiRig. In the new super compact kit that I'm working on, that one is going to incorporate the MobiLink TNC. Hey, speaking of that new super compact kit, let's jump over to the workbench and take a look at that. 
So we're not going to go through this bag completely. I just wanted to show you a few of the items that I'm including in this new kit. So here are the basic components. We've got the Mobilink TNC3 on the right. We've got the Android phone here in the middle and the FT5D on the left. And these three will work in conjunction with each other to allow me to do Winlink using the Wode app. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Wode app or not, but I'll leave a link to that down in the description below as well. And also, it has APRS Droid installed on this. Now, I am an iPhone guy, so this Android stuff is a bit new to me. I've played with Android in the past, but not very much. I just picked up this phone off of Amazon. It's a track phone prepaid uh, model. I don't have any cellular service with it. It's strictly going to be used for APRS and WinLink. Now, the FT5 does have APRS built in, but if I swapped this out with another radio, like the FT65R, I could still do WinLink even with that radio that doesn't include APRS as a standard feature. I'll be digging into this kit in a future video and show you everything that I've included. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you found this information helpful. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.